This is life during the pandemic. Parents like Kelly Parker carrying extra weight on their shoulders, juggling children, a social life, and responsibilities. I really started panicking. Four-year-old Henry Parker's mom says he thrives on structure, but she started to become concerned when his routine began to change. I was not nearly as worried about his little sister as I was about him because I know that Henry's main problem is social interaction. Henry has autism. COVID-19 took away his social opportunities that his parents aren't able to help him with at home. And, and that is the one thing, that is the main thing that was taken away from everybody. Another obstacle the family faced, virtual therapies moving online. It was challenging though, because like what she's doing right now, on the computer, he would get up into the camera and he'd make silly faces at himself. And it was just a lot more distracting than having it in person. Dr. Lauren Carpenter with the Medical University of South Carolina says for parents who aren't able to go to therapy, there are resources available. There is a number of free parent training programs out there online um, that they can look into. Autism Speaks um, on their website under the COVID-19 resources has a number of free um, or some um, paid programs that parents can go through to learn how to work with their child with autism. Kelly says for her, it was his special education teacher, preschool teacher, and his therapist who helped play a big role in Henry's success oh, wow during the pandemic. I'm so appreciative of everybody who realized that this was gonna be challenging for us. To help with autism research remotely, MUSC is working on a study called Spark for Autism. It's a genetic study you can do from your home where saliva is collected in test tubes. In downtown Charleston, Christina Lobo, Count On Two.